The thing about Silver, I challenge you. And he go after you. So you better be ready. Back three. Eight strikeouts for Tom Seaver. Tom was a real competitor, and uh, he loved winning. And right from the start, he was terrific. The finest young right-hander in baseball, Tom Seaver. The rookie of the year and an all-star in 67, Seaver was an elite power pitcher who became synonymous with the term drop and drive. If you say drop and drive to anyone who pitched, they would think primarily of Tom Seaver. That's where his power came from. Who gets so low when he throws the ball, he was the rear down, almost on the ground. The indentations in, in the mound, they were exactly the same spot each time. So just imagine being able to be that consistent with every pitch. If I wanted to hit a Nats rear end on that side of the plate, I'd do it. If I wanted the Nats rear end over here, I'd do it. Every pitch I threw was exactly what I wanted to do. Seaver struck out more than 200 batters in nine consecutive seasons, the longest stretch of all time. He once fanned the last 10 batters in a game, part of a 19K effort in a winning performance against the Padres. Tom Seaver is the perfect example of a power pitcher that can pitch to spots, and that's an unbeatable combination. Tom Seaver has pitched his first major the discipline that goes into pitching, I try to incorporate that. It's great mental discipline and concentration. Seaver led the Mets to their first ever World Series title. And in the course of his 20 seasons, the three-time Cy Young Award winner won 311 games. Seaver has become the 17th man in the history of baseball to win 300 games. He was voted into the Hall of Fame on 98.84% of the ballots. Seaver would seem this effortless at pitching uh, as anyone I can remember. People who don't think that he's one of the greatest pitchers of all time are missing it.